So metaballs are like dynamic figures. So if I were to click on add metaball right here, I can add, an, uh, add in a metaball. And if I were to copy and paste this out by pressing control C and V right here, or if I were to press Shift D, you can see that I can create a copy right here. So you can see that I got these metaballs right here. I can press Shift D again, bring uh, more of these metaballs all together. But let's say I want to convert this into a mesh. So in order to do that, what I can do is I can select this out and I can press F3 on my keyboard and then I can search for convert. Uh, and then once I go to convert, you can see that there's convert to mesh is an option. So once I click on convert to mesh, now what happens is that the meta ball gets converted into a regular mesh, as you can see. So I cannot select out individual elements, but you can see that now, if I were to rotate it around or if I were to resize this out, you can see that it acts like a mess because it is a mess now. And that is how you can uh, convert metaballs to mess inside of Blender. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.